Cheers. Good morning guys and welcome back to another vlog or welcome if you're new. Either way, I'm so glad you're here. If you are new, hey, I'm Peyton. I'm 25. I film 9 to 5 lifestyle content. Um, if that sounds interesting to you, do me a favor and hit that subscribe button. That would mean so much to me. It is Wednesday. I am starting this vlog in the middle of the week. I'm not really sure what this vlog is going to be. <laughs> I just I haven't talked to you guys in a while. I think the last vlog you guys saw was me prepping for my trip to California. I got back from that trip on Sunday and it's just been like a slow process to like get back to normal and get back into a routine. I've been honestly kind of struggling a little bit. I feel like there's usually always a day when I come back from vacation where it just like, I, it takes me a second to like get back into the swing of things. But my stomach has been, you know, giving me issues, which honestly that's like par for the course. That's probably the only thing that is back to normal is my stomach being annoying. I had a really hard time sleeping last night. I was up until like 2 a.m. last night and that is not like me at all. Um, I probably didn't go to bed until like 2 or 2.30 and then I woke up at like 7.30 and so I'm not feeling my best but it's okay. It'll be alright. Um, I'm hoping that I'm gonna be so tired that like tonight I'm gonna sleep really well. Anyways, we are just like slowly but surely getting back into a routine, acclimating to the heat again. Um, I was in California this weekend for a friend's bachelorette trip and the weather was just like insane there it was so beautiful like it's wild to me that anywhere in july is like 65 degrees it's just crazy to me so it was a hard hit of reality coming back and being like that um but yeah we're having a slow start to the morning i'm like still in my pajamas but i didn't realize how slow i was being this morning until i like i was finishing my, up my breakfast and like it was nine o'clock so i was like let me log on make sure there's nothing going on and then i'll like finish getting ready so yeah it's midweek we've only got a couple more days until friday thank god this week has just felt like forever i'm really trying to take advantage and savor this week and na next week because those are the only two weeks that i'm really here in july um so this week i'm here through this weekend next week i'm here next saturday so like not this upcoming saturday but next saturday henry and i are going to the lake with his family, which I'm really excited about. We come back the following Saturday and then I turn around a couple days later and go to Seattle for work. So July has been a crazy month, um, but we're just trying to take advantage of the weeks I have at home because there's not that many of them. Anyway, I've just been online for a second working, but look at this gigantic water tumbler I got. This was one of the things um, Lauren, my friend gave us on our trip in California. She was so adamant that it wasn't a bachelorette trip because she um, is not doing a whole bridal party. She just has one person standing up with her. But she got us like all these gifts and we were like, what the heck? <laughs> like She got us gifts like, you know, brides will give their bridesmaids, but um, it was really sweet. And this was one of them. And she like color coded them all. Like all of mine were like this color, which is my favorite color, which was very sweet of her. She's always like so intentional, but I, this has been like attached to me since I've gotten it. I have always been like a water bottle Hydro Flask girl. You guys saw I branched out a couple months ago with that little Stanley for my iced coffee, but this I'm obsessed. Like I love it so much. I've just been holding it like this all the time and just Something about sipping out of a massive, a massive jug from a straw. It's a little later. I did change, but I literally just changed into a t-shirt and some sweat shorts. So I'm basically still wearing pajamas. But you know what? I'm not leaving the house today, so it's fine. Um, I feel like the rudest part of coming back from California was just like the smack in the face that the weather is right now. It's just disgusting. Like today is nice and it's like <laughs> like 92 degrees and the thing about memphis i feel like i've talked about this before it's not a dry heat so like the thermometer may say like 86 but it actually feels like 100 because of the humidity that's one thing it's like when i'm in not that i 
I feel like I've traveled places where it's been hot. Like even when we were in California, we went to Napa one day and it was during a heat wave. So it was like 100 degrees. But like when I tell you, I wasn't phased at all because like to me, it still felt nice compared to what it's like here. It's just so annoying. I really, I talked about this quite a few vlogs ago, but I am not a summer girl. I really don't like summer. The only time I enjoy summer is when I'm at the beach. Um, but you can go to the beach year round. I just, I really don't like summer. I don't like being hot. I don't like just like sweating, just being outside. Like if I'm going to sweat, I want it to be like a tough workout or a run or something. Like I don't want to be sweating, just doing mundane things. Um, I just hate summer and I've, I'm trying to be positive about it, but sometimes I just get in a stink and right now I'm in a summer stink. This little guy was actually one of the things that Henry got me for my birthday. Which, when I tell you, like, this is so me. One, my favorite color is green. Like, I love green. Anything I have is green. And it's in the shape of a cowboy boot. And it holds matches, and there's, like, a little striker on the bottom. But the best part is, if you remember a couple of vlogs ago, I'm, like, terrified of matches. Like, I need the longer ones. He bought me long ones to fit in the cowboy boot. So I'm not as scared to light my candles, which like, if that was not the sweetest, most intentional gift, I just think it's so sweet. Also, while I'm in here, I'll show you what else he got me. He also got me this like wireless charging stand because um, my nightstand is like really tall and my cord, like my charging cord doesn't always like stretch all the way up here. And sometimes my phone falls in the middle of the night. So he got me this wireless um, charging stand so I don't have to worry about that anymore. Also seeing my Kindle just made me remember I you guys if you are an Akatar Sarah J Mass girly I just finished the second book of the Crescent City series The House of Sky and Breath and oh, you guys that ending I audibly screamed texted my friend immediately if she wasn't in dallas i would have ran to her house um i literally screamed this series is so good and sarah j mass is just such like an excellent writer like i can't get over it i could not get over it so much that i actually bought the third book instead of waiting for it to be available on libby that is how much it like shook me to my core so if you haven't given the Crescent City series a try and you're an Akatar girly, just I'm doing you a favor. You need to read it. This is what it looks like at the end. Just got my salmon, my edamame, some rice, and some seaweed chips. I like to like scoop a little bit of each of these and put them in a seaweed chip and kind of make it like a sushi roll. Henry just likes to crumble his seaweed and just mix everything together. So it's kind of a choose your own adventure. But literally such an easy dinner. I do it. It literally, I'm not kidding, took me five minutes to make. I do it when I just have no brain power to do anything else. It's also really high in protein. Both edamame and salmon are good sources of protein. And cleanup is super easy too. I'm going to sit on my couch with this, eat my bowl, watch some Gossip Girl, and just rot for a little bit because today has taken it out of me. <laughs> Good morning guys, it is the next morning. I just took a quick body rinse because I self tanned last night and just needed to do like a quick little water rinse of everything. And I literally feel like a new person. I don't know why whenever I'm feeling in a funk, I don't just like immediately self tan because I always feel so much better. I mentioned it a thousand times before, but for face tan, I use these, the Tan Lux Medium Dark. I literally only use like two drops, mix it in with my moisturizer and put it on before I go to bed. And um, I use the tan, last night I used the Tan Lux Butter, like the body lotion and just slept in it, which that is like the only self tan. Tan Lux Butter and the Lux Unfiltered Gradual Tanning Lotion are like the only lotions I can sleep in. Like I really don't like sleeping in self-tanner, but those it's like bearable. When I don't want to sleep in self-tanner, I use the Bondi Sands One Hour Express. Let me take my medicine. I've actually switched to taking magnesium in the morning. I know a lot of people take it before bed, but for me, like... It's really hard to take something right before bed just because my stomach, if I don't have anything on my stomach, it tends to hurt a little bit. But also magnesium can be taken during the day 
um, and this magnesium ashwagandha mix. I've been taking it during the day. It doesn't make me feel sleepy. It just kind of like mellows me out. I'm talking kind of quietly because across the hall is the office and Henry is working from home today too. We've only worked from home together like I guess this is the second time since I moved in because he's in busy season so he's in the office a lot but today he's working from home because we have my birthday dinner tonight and I think it's just easier for him to be at home. Also, I am wearing another birthday present from Henry. Henry got me this new robe. I feel like you can't even see the full thing, but it's this amazing, like, plush terry cloth robe. Like, it's literally a hotel robe. I'm obsessed with it. He got it from Brooklinen. I've been wanting this robe for a while, but, like, I had a robe, so I was like, I cannot justify spending more money on another robe. But if you know anything about me, Henry knows I love robes. Like whenever we're in a hotel that has these kind of tall robes, I'm like, I, I don't get out of it. Like I love it so much. So he got me one for my birthday and I've literally been wearing it nonstop. I love it so much. Um, I will link down below the exact one he got me, but it's from Booklinen and um, I'm obsessed. This might not look very good, but this has been like my go-to lunch lately. I've already taken a couple bites, but I just put some of the Fresh Market roasted chicken salad on some sourdough. I've been getting this sourdough lately. It's from a local bakery and it's so good. And then I get the Fresh Market smoked pasta salad. I got that this week. Sometimes I get other kinds. I feel like in the summer lunch is such a tricky meal for me to do because it's just so hot. I don't really want to eat anything. So like light cold stuff like chicken salad and pasta salad is always my go-to because it gets me enough protein and things that I need to get me through the day. But it's also like not a chore to eat it, if you know what I mean. It's a little bit later. I wrapped up the work day. I'm just getting ready for dinner. Um... I was planning on washing my hair last night. Obviously that didn't happen, but I was surprised. Um, so I think I'm just gonna like slick back my hair into a bun. I wouldn't say I've like mastered this hairstyle, but I think I've gotten it to where like I'm okay with how it ends up looking. So that's what we're gonna do. Tonight I'm just wearing this really cute white linen tank top from Gap. It has these really cute little button details on the back. And then I don't even know if you can see this. I'm wearing these white, not white, these are green, green wide leg linen pants. Um, I'll try and get a full body shot of this, but these are my pants or the um, old navy wide leg linen pants that I wear like all the time except these are this year's version so my white ones are from last year and I realized with this year's version they took out like the um they took out the tie in the waist so it's like they're just pull on which like I don't mind they still fit well but I liked the drawstring in case like I wanted them looser or tighter but I still like them I've learned with my like curly frizzy hair I have to like wet the roots a little bit for it to actually stay down this is like not a tutorial by any means because i i feel like i haven't perfected this but i i don't mind how it comes out like half the time so i wet it down and then i'm gonna run some of this through my hair really no reason i'm choosing this cream over something else other than like it was free um and it's a cream i feel like you just need a cream i've also seen people um use like hand lotion when they're in a bind. I don't think I would ever try that, but people seem to like the way it turns out. Just put a little bit of this in my hand. And just like first I just pat it down like this and then I kind of comb it through where I'm gonna end up combing the hair. Probably need a little more. My only issue with slick backs is that like usually I feel the need to wash my hair after because it just feels like a little sticky. Um, so I usually don't do them unless I plan on washing my hair that night or the next day. Because um, I just don't like the way it feels. And then I just kind of brush it. I think I might have wet my hair too much because now it just looks like I'm an egghead. This would probably also work better if I had a Borka 
a board bristle brush, but I don't, so we're making do with what we have. I see people just like tie it from a bun from here, and I feel like if you have like finer or thinner hair, that works, but I do not have fine or thin hair, so I usually will tie this piece off into a ponytail and make sure everything is like smooth looking the way I want. And then I'll like put another ponytail around and make the bun. I really don't know why I'm acting like this is a tutorial because I definitely have not mastered this, but. There we go. Okay, I know the lighting isn't good, but here's a better look at my outfit. Um, the top is from Gap, the bottoms are from Old Navy. I'm just wearing Burks. Happy Friday guys, we made it through the week, thank God. Um, if you aren't new around here, you know on Friday we do laundry. So I've got my bedding in the laundry right now. I've got a couple of loads because I did not do any laundry Tuesday. So got a little bit to clean. Just love going into the weekend with like fresh bedding, fresh clothes. It just, nothing makes me happier. Um, I did not sleep well last night. Again, I don't really know what's going on with that. So I took a shower this morning just to kind of like wake myself up and make myself feel better. I'm trying to decide what I want to wear today because it is hot. And I know I say that all the time. You guys are probably so annoyed with me, but it is hot today. I think it's the hottest today that's been all week. It's getting up to 98 today. It's like 10 o'clock and it's already 87 degrees. So. Um, yeah, it's gonna be a hot one. So I just want to wear something that's like, I'm not gonna sweat for the two minutes I'm outside today when I take Poppy out. Um, also wanna be comfy. Also, it's my period right now, so I'm very bloated. So we want something that isn't going to make that even more uncomfortable than it already is. I think I said it already before, but I am living in this robe. This is literally like Henry's laughing at me how much I'm wearing it. Like I'll wear it for like the first hour of work because I don't want to take it off. I feel like typically Fridays are very chill for me. There's a busy Friday every now and then, but usually they're pretty chill. Uh, and we don't usually have a lot of meetings on Fridays, but today it is just bam, bam, bam. Like. I um, got my Thrive Market package today. I thought it wasn't coming till Sunday, so this is such a fun surprise. Um, I'm just stocked up on some snacks. Henry and I are going out of town. We're going to the lake, not this weekend, but next weekend. So we're always snacking. So I thought I'd stock up on some faves. I'm a little on a couple. If things kind of warm. <laughs> um, first thing is nothing new some of the late july garden ranch chips these are better than doritos i'm telling you i also got some more popcorn i went with a different flavor this time i got the lesser evil white cheddar popcorn usually i get the himalayan salt but they were out so i got this one but it looks really good um what else did we get oh i'm really excited about these so i got these ranch packets and I bought these because I've been seeing people just like mixing ranch seasoning with Greek yogurt and like using some water to thin it out a little bit. So I thought that would be fun to try. So got three of those because there was a minimum of three. So I had to get three. What else did I get? Oh, I'm excited about this. I don't know when I'm going to use this yet, but I bought some miso paste. I really want to make miso soup at home. Um... Even though it's like so hot outside, I love miso soup. I feel like um, just like the tofu and the seaweed, when I'm in the mood for it, it just hits. So I want to try and make that at home. Got some mixed nuts, just another snack. Got some black beans just to restock what I used last week. 
And then of course, got some Kodiak Cakes um, chocolate protein muffins. I'm probably gonna make one of these tonight just to like have throughout the weekend and next week. I really love making those as like an easy breakfast. They're probably not the best thing to drink, drink. They're probably not the best thing to eat like every day for breakfast, but like two of those I think is like 14 grams of protein. So like sometimes when I don't feel like cooking breakfast or I'm like over the overnight oats, I will set those in. So I'll probably make some of those tonight. And what is this? Oh, I got some vitamin D supplements as well. I've been getting a lot of my supplements on Thrive Market lately. I get my magnesium and ashwagandha supplements on there. I've been meaning to start taking a vitamin D supplement because I found out it was vitamin D deficient. So there's that. We are done with work. Thank God it is finally the weekend. I'm so tired, y'all. I'm at Henry. It's like a little after five. Henry is on his way home from the office and we are gonna get dinner with his parents tonight just something like really low-key and chill i haven't seen them in a while so i'm excited to see them um we talked about watching dune tonight but that is a three hour movie or dune part two and i don't know if i have that in me tonight we'll see i just like can already feel i'm so tired so we'll see but um, i'm gonna change because right now i'm just in like athletic clothes so I think I'm gonna wear this little graphic tee from Abercrombie. It's got these little tomatoes like embroidered on it. It's so cute. And then I'm gonna wear my dad shorts from Abercrombie. You guys know I love these. They're just like the perfect summer short. So cute little summer fit for a little summer Friday. Honestly, not much else is gonna happen tonight. I think I'm gonna end off the vlog here and I'll start a new one tomorrow, do a little weekend vlog. We've got a pretty pretty busy weekend, I wanna say. Um, so stay tuned for that. But thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys so much. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. Turn on post notifications and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.